फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक तो हम देख रहे हैं हिंडन बर्ग हैज किल्ड अडानी ग्रुप किल्ड नहीं कह सकते बट यस डिस्ट्रॉय तो करने की कोशिश की है अच्छा डी कोडिंग अडानीज रिस्पॉन्स टू हिंडन बर्ग बिजनेस हिंडन बर्ग जो है जो शॉर्ट सेलर था जो पैसा तभी बनाता है जब कोई कंपनी फॉल करती है तो उसने जो भी अपनी इन्वेस्टिगेशन की इन्वेस्टिगेशन के बाद उसने अपनी जो भी है पूरी रिपोर्ट छाप दी और बता दिया कि ये प्रॉब्लम नज़र आ रही हैं लोगों ने देखा जिन्होंने इन्वेस्ट किया था जिनको ज़्यादा मालूम नहीं है उन्होंने रिएक्ट किया शार्पली उस रिएक्शन से स्टॉक गिर गया हिंडन बर्ग का काम हो गया अब हिंडन बर्ग को ऑब्वियसली सू भी कर सकते हैं मगर उसने पूरे सबूत वगैरह रखे हुए हैं और कुछ पॉइंट्स उसके हैं जो हो भी सकता है वैलिड हो मगर वो ओवरऑल होगा इम्प्रूवमेंट के लिए तो देखते हैं क्या कह रहे हैं मगर जैसे कह रहे हैं मिस्टर अदानी की जो नेटवर्थ है वो हाफ हो गई है मतलब हाफ उनकी नेटवर्थ जो है वेस्ट हो गई मगर ये सब चीज़ें टेम्प्रेरी हैं जैसे जैसे मार्केट आगे बढ़ेगी रिकवरी आती जाएगी सब ठीक हो जाएगा वो लोग चेंजेस करेंगे इम्प्रूवमेंट्स करेंगे अगर वो वैलिड पॉइंट्स हैं तो, तो मेरे को तो एक टेम्प्रेरी लग रहा है क्योंकि इन रियालिटी ऐसा तो नहीं है कि उनके पोर्ट गंदे परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं उनका जो माल है गंदा परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं तो टेम्प्रेरी है फिर यही हिंदन वर्ग का काम है यही सभी स्टॉक वालों का काम है कि डाउन गई है टेम्प्रेरी इवेंचुअली अगर मटेरियल अच्छा है जो प्रोडक्शन अच्छी है सब कुछ बैक टू वहीं पर ही आ जाएगा सिर्फ प्रोसेस वगैरह चेंज होंगे चलो देखते हैं तो चलो वीडियो शुरू करते हैं वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले अगर आप चैनल पर नए हो और आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो जल्दी से पहले सब्सक्राइब के बाद नो बेल आइकन को क्लिक कर लो ताकि आपको हमारे सारे न्यू वीडियोस के नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए जैसे हम अपलोड करें अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आता है प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर चलिए शुरू करते हैं Adani Group Adani Group Adani Group companies continue to slide for a third straight session 6 billion dollars gone in a day Short seller Hindenburg Research accusing the conglomerate of share price manipulation and fraud using shell companies to pump up the stock of Adani Enterprises The report is a malicious combination of selective misinformation baseless and discredited allegations that... India's Adani Group says it's exploring legal action against a US short seller Hindenburg Research he says uh, Hindenburg is making an attack not just on the company he's also making an attack on India and its growth ambitions the fundamentals of our company are very strong we will continue to focus on a long term value creation and growth Hi everybody on 24th of January 2023 the Hindenburg report launched a direct torpedo against the Adani group and it caused a havoc in the Indian capital mm-hmm. markets and like we saw this had such an insane impact on the Adani stocks that seven Adani companies lost more than 100 billion dollars in market cap <coughs> and ever since this report has come out the entire indian public has been segregated into two extreme categories mm. while on one side people believe the report blindly and started bashing the adani group for pulling off a fraud mm. on the other side people dismissed the hindenburg report itself and labeled it as a direct attack on the indian economy so we decided to read both the documents as carefully as possible to help you understand both the hindenburg report mm. as well as the adani group's responses to the report and after we put out all the arguments in front of you it's completely up to you to decide who's right and who is wrong but the best part is regardless of who wins or loses the one thing that's good about this drama is that it helps us capture your attention to teach you the most remarkable concepts in business so in this episode today let's do a deep dive and try to understand what are the most powerful arguments of hindenburg against the adani group what are adani's responses to these arguments and most importantly what are the study materials to help you understand this adani hindenburg saga better this video is brought to you by think schools communication masterclass course people if you love the way i tell stories and if you also want to learn how to present your ideas in the most powerful manner possible come join my communication masterclass course This is a 6 weeks course wherein I have designed special exercises to take you step by step from the beginners level all the way up to the TEDx level presentation That's skill. Him. And if you have any doubts while doing the course, I do live Q&A sessions on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and I will personally answer all of your questions to help you become a great presenter. So if this sounds useful to you and if you want to master the art of communication, use the link below and join our communication masterclass course. 
चलो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई द हेल इज हिंडनबर्ग बॉडर अबाउट अदानी सो मच एंड व्हाट डू दे गेन फ्रॉम दिस इंफॉर्मेशन वॉर क्योंकि द स्टॉक्स नीचे जाएंगे उनका फायदा होएगा हिंडनबर्ग इज अ फाइनेंशियल रिसर्च कंपनी दैट लुक्स टू फाइंड सेल्फ क्रिएटेड और मैन मेड इश्यूज and uses a method called short selling to make a profit by the fall of a company's stock prices yeah. so if you are familiar with the concept of short selling please skip to this time stamp but if you're <laughs> not here's a very very simple example to understand this concept let's say think solar is one of the listed companies in the indian stock market with the stock price trading at 10000 rupees a share and ayush is a super sharp investor who thinks that the price of think solar share is overvalued and it's going to fall drastically so what ayush would do is he would borrow 1 lakh shares of think solar for 30 days from parsh who is parsh he is one of the shareholders of think solar and the condition of this transaction is that after the loan tenure ayush has to return 1 lakh shares back to parsh and in return for this lending parsh would receive a commission of 0.21% and this commission is based on a lot of factors like stock volatility market conditions financial indicators etc and this transaction would be mediated by a stock broker who would again receive a commission to carry out this trade so now ayush has 1 lakh shares of think school worth 10000 rupees each and now what he would do is he would rapidly start selling think solar shares at 9000 rupees so in total he would sell shares worth 90 crore rupees and when he sells 1 lakh shares at such a steep discount the entire market will feel as if there's something terribly wrong about think solar stock and soon enough there'll stock be a coming. panic in the market whereby even other investors who bought think solar stock they will start selling it in large numbers and when this snowballing of panic happens think solar stock price will come crashing yeah. down and will eventually touch 8000 in case mein just a few reports are hmm. but now ayush would cleverly buy back the shares at just 8000 rupees so when ayush buys 1 lakh shares at 8000 rupees it would cost him only 80 crore rupees hmm. so you see well ayush sold think solar That's shares for 90 crore rupees he bought them back at just 80 crore rupees eventually making a profit of 10 crore rupees and then he would return these shares to parsh This is how Ayush would make money through short selling or as they say by shorting Think Solar's stock. And just like that even in this case Hindenburg would have borrowed these stocks from a broker while Adani's stock price was extremely high and they would have sold it in the market. And after that when they came out with the report when the stock prices came crashing down now or a few weeks later they would buy back these stocks eventually they would make a profit. So regardless of whether these allegations are true or not if the fear mongering causes the stock to crash which it did Hindenburg would make a hefty profit now is this illegal well or a short sell ye nahi hazaro crore hai i don't know aap bhi short sell ban sakte ho but just a short selling you cannot anybody can do the hindenburg report so ye ki influence kaise karoge market ko if this is very very clear to you let's try to understand the hindenburg's allegations and adani's responses to the same now we all know that adani who had a net worth of roughly 120 billion dollars he had gotten most of his wealth in the last 3 years at the end of 2019 his net worth was around 20 billion dollars but the rest 100 billion dollars got accumulated in the past 3 years itself and this according to hindenburg is largely through the appreciation of his stock prices in his group's seven key listed companies if you see in the last 3 years itself adani enterprises stock price has shot up by 1398% gas has shot up by 2121% and green has shot up by 908% So the question is how on earth did Adani companies accumulate so much wealth and what is the secret to their growth well apart from their cutting edge execution one very very critical factor for their growth has been their debt strategy and this is one of the most important things that the Hindenburg report points out so let's use a simple example to understand this and by any chance if you remember this example from our video that we Leverage. made about 6 months back please skip to this time stamp if you don't here's an oversimplified analogy to help you understand the Adani's debt strategy better Let's say we have a listed company called Think Enterprises with a market cap of 10000 crores, a revenue of 2500 crores and a net profit of 500 crores. And under this company we have three more companies called Think Power, Think Infra and Think Green. These three daughter companies are not listed yet, but they have a huge potential to scale in the next 10 years. Now you see, if Think Enterprises <laughs> bags a tender to build a port that would cost 7500 crores, 
Think Enterprises will have to reject it. Why? Because we do not have the profits to pay 7,500 crores. At the same time, the banks would hesitate to give us a loan of 7,500 crores with such low profits of just 500 crores. And the last way by which we could raise money would be by pledging our shares. As in, if my stake in the company is worth 7,500 crores, I would pledge 10% of my shares in the company worth 750 crores, and then the bank would do a risk analysis and give me a loan worth 350 crores. But yeah, in this case, to raise 7,500 crores, no, I can't yeah. pledge 80% of my stake and raise these loans, right? That would be ridiculous. But this is where a consultant designs an intricate framework to help me get these projects effortlessly. Firstly, we would decide to list all our daughter companies in the stock market. And because of the brand value of Think Enterprises, all the three companies would have a stellar IPO. So mm -hmm. in the next Low five years, lagayenge. Think Green has a market cap of 100,000 crores. Think Power hits 10,000 crores. And Think Infra stands at 5,000 crores. Thi, log and shares now, log our shareholdings person. amount to 75,000 crores. 7,000 crores and 3,500 crores respectively. And now, if Think Infra wants to raise 7,500 crores, here's how they would do it. Firstly, it would raise 2,000 crores by projecting its profits. So, if your company is generating 500 crores of profit, the banks would not mind lending you 2,000 crores because they know that you can easily repay the loan with just your profits of the next <coughs> 4 years. So, this way, 2,000 crores has been raised. And now, we need another 5,500 crores. This is where we have method number two. In this method, what Think would do is, since Think Green's stock price is very, very high, it would pledge 10% of its own shares to get a bank loan. So in this case, 12% stake worth 12,000 crores is pledged to the bank to get a loan of 6,000 crores. Mm -hmm. And once they get this loan, they would loan 5,000 crores to Think Enterprises and use the rest 1,000 crores for its expansion. So now we have 7,000 crores <laughs> like and now we just need 500 crores extra. <laughs> For this, we would just issue a bond of 500 crores and raise the money directly Legal from end. the people. Yeah. That's it. 7,500 crores of capital has been raised. And now, we could take up a giant project and make headlines in the market. This is all by taking a loan through pledging the shares of the daughter company and then passing it, it on to another okay. group company. Think can help itself grab giant projects. Mm. And now, if you look at the Adani group, you will see something very, very mm. similar. Pledging shares is definitely a new norm which is used by several aggressive promoters and Gautam Adani is no exception to that. The Adani Group has pledged its entire equity stake in the newly acquired companies. Adani Group has ACC and Ambuja Cement. Dono mein apni puri hissedari rakhi hai girvi. Hmm. Initially, Adani Enterprises was the only company listed in the stock market. But from 2008 onwards, they started listing their companies and now they have seven listed companies which are Adani Wilmer, Adani Enterprises, Adani Ports and SEZ, Adani Power, Adani Transmission, Adani Green Energy and Adani Gas. And many of these companies also have their own subsidiaries. Mm -hmm. And then as per the requirements of the company, they orchestrated an intricate framework of cash flow just like the one that we learned right now. So if you see their statements, you will see that Adani Transmission India is a subsidiary of Adani Transmission and its financial statements for 2014-15 show that it borrowed 2,794.24 crores by pledging all immovable and movable assets of two transmission lines and almost half of this money that it borrowed, that is about 1,222.97 crores, went as a loan to another listed company and that is Adani Enterprises. <laughs> Similarly, between 2013-2018, Adani Power was struggling with cash flow. This was because when the power project was built in Mundra, it was expected to get cheap supply of coal from Indonesia. But when Indonesia raised the price of its exported coal, Adani Power Mundra claimed that its cost of coal had risen so much that it could no longer supply power at original rates. Okay. So during this period, the company's annual reports show several instances where Adani Enterprises made loans to Adani Power directly and it also gave out loans indirectly through its subsidiaries like Adani Infra or Kutch Power Generation. And if you look at the extent of this share pledging, you will see it in this graph whereby from 2019 to 2020, the promoter gross pledge position actually went from 38, 37 and 28% to 58%, 54% and 50%. And this was for three companies which are Adani Ports, Transmission and Enterprises. So you see this entire complexity is a permutation and combination of two moves. Using one group company's loan eligibility to pass it on to another group company and lastly to direct cash flow to a troubled group company. 
And like we saw in our previous episode, this master plan of cash flow created a virtuous cycle for the Adanis, whereby when an Adani company wants to contest for a tender, they are able to easily raise funds. After raising funds, they bag huge infra projects, and once they do, every single news channel media house starts screaming out the progress of the Adanis. This in turn boosts investor confidence, and more stock people invest in Adani stock. So again, when the stock price of these companies go up, they are able to place the value of those stocks to get even bigger loans, which again helps them back giant government projects. Mm. Now, is this risky? Absolutely, mm. it's very risky because it could lead to a vicious cycle whereby, Debt. if the share value drops, yeah. the banks could sell the shares, and when such huge volumes of shares are released, the investor sentiment would go negative, Debt and that value. would cause the stock to Tabhi crash. To and this would further lead to more selling. This is why the Hindenburg report says equity share pledges are an inherently unstable source of lending collateral because if share prices drop the lender can make a collateral call if no additional collateral is available the lender could require a forced liquidation of shares often perpetuating a self fulfilling cycle as stock prices move lower yes. and so selling continues secondly they also point out something called the current ratio of the adani group for those who don't know oh. current ratio is a financial indicator that measures the company's ability to pay its short term obligations it's basically calculated by dividing company's current assets by current liabilities okay. now if you don't understand this here's a very simple example of the same and if you already understood this please keep to this time stamp let's start with current assets Current assets are the assets that the company can immediately sell and generate cash. And by immediate, I mean in less than one year. Current. Debt. This would include the cash, receivable amounts, inventories, etc. So, in case of Think Solar, which is a made-up company, we would have hundred crores in our bank balance from previous years of profits. We would have fifty crores worth of solar panels in our inventory that could be sold. Yeah. Plus, we would have clients who are yet to pay us forty crores for our products. Plus, we would also have office spaces. that could be sold to generate another 30 crores so in total our current assets as in the assets that can give us instant cash are oh, worth 100 crores plus 50 crores plus 40 crores plus current 30 crores current assets matlab abhi jo bech sakte paise ke liye if Or this is very very clear to you let's come to current assets assets in long term current liabilities are nothing but the amount of money that we are due to pay in the next one year for example in our imaginary company called think solar we have 50 crores in loan installment to be paid this year plus we are yet to pay our glass and silicon suppliers a total of 40 crore rupees plus we have salaries to be paid which is again going to cost us another 15 crore rupees so in total our current liabilities are equal to 50 crores plus 40 crores plus 15 crores which is equal to 105 crores so our current ratio is current assets divided by current liability which is 220 divided by 105 which is 2.09 So this is a healthy number. Why? Because I have two twenty crores no worth of assets that I can immediately turn into cash, but only one hundred and ten crores worth of liabilities to be paid for. But if this ratio goes less than one, it becomes risky. Why? Because it means that you do not have enough assets to liquidate and pay back the debt. वीडियो तो इंटरेस्टिंग है क्योंकि शुरू से दैट ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन कि जैसे मेरे जैसे जिसको पूरी डिटेल नहीं पता है उसने पूरी न्यूज़ नहीं सुनी हुई कि एक्जैक्टली क्या हो रहा है हस्बैंड से थोड़ी सुन ली थोड़ा सा इधर उधर से पढ़ लिया तो उसमें इस ये एक्सप्लेनेशन इज़ रियली हेल्पफुल और जिस तरह से वो एक एग्जाम्पल दे के थिंक सोलर का दे के उसको एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हैं कि थिंक वाली जो कंपनी है दैट इज़ इंटरेस्टिंग अब क्वेश्चन ये है कि ये सब जो ये कर रहे हैं कि तुमने दूसरी कन बना दी छोटी कंपनी अपनी जो है सिस्टर कंपनीज हैं जो भी बोलते हैं तो और उस टाइप से पैसा किया इज़ इट लीगल इफ इट इज़ लीगल तो फिर इतना हाई तो बाकी हो रही है तो यही बोला है कि भाई लीगल है मगर रिस्की बहुत है तो और और भी एलिगेशंस थे कि आपकी इतनी सारी सब्सिडरी कंपनीज हैं वो सबका ऑडिटिंग आपने कराई है एक छोटे से कंपनी से और वो छोटी सी कंपनी में ग्यारह बंदे हैं सिर्फ और चार पार्टनर हैं और आपने तेईस साल के लोग रखे हैं जो साइन कर रहे हैं हंड्रेड हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर के एसेट्स पे तो ये उनका क्वेश्चन था कि कौन ऑडिट कर रहा है अब एग्जैक्टली exactly सुनेंगे क्या है मगर हिंदन बर्ग ने कुछ चीज़ें निकाली थी कि इतनी कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी है और 11 लोगों की टीम ने कर दिया आपके जो बिग फोर हैं जो मेजर ऑडिटर्स हैं उसके पास आपकी इतनी बड़ी कंपनी गई नहीं छोटे मोटे 11 बंदे की कंपनी में तुमने ऑडिट करा के सब कुछ कर लिया इसका मतलब किसी ने ध्यान से ऑडिट नहीं किया होगा तो ये सब चल रहा है उनका कि भाई जो जो उनने फॉर्ट्स निकाले हैं वो प्रोसेस में फॉर्ट्स लगा रहे हैं वो ये बोल रहे हैं कि रिस्क की बहुत है प्रॉब्लम्स हैं तो डेप्ट रेशो बहुत है तो मतलब ये सब चीज़ें हो रही हैं तो देखते हैं अगले पार्ट में मगर उसकी वजह से 
उससे ये नहीं होता कि उनका काम में खराबी है उनका ये नहीं होता कि ऑन द ग्राउंड में रियलिटी है ये शेयर प्राइस डाउन होगी होपफुली रिकवर हो जाएगी और उनको कुछ बोलना पड़ेगा ठीक है प्रोसेस ठीक करेंगे ये करेंगे आप वो रिस्पॉन्ड करेंगे मगर जो भी रिस्पॉन्स वो कर रहे हैं अभी तक वो शेयर डूब ही रहा है राइट आधी मेरे ख्याल से उनकी नेटवर्क जो है वो चली गई है मगर इट विल कम बैक क्योंकि आपके पोर्ट तो वहीं हैं आपकी सब चीज़ें वहीं हैं ठीक है आप पुरानी टेक्निक शेयर नहीं यूज़ कर पाएँ कोई और यूज़ कर लेंगे तो देखेंगे क्या होता है इट वॉज़ ए नाइस उन्होंने बहुत अच्छी तरह से एक्सप्लेन किया है इंडिया में मतलब जो कॉमर्स वाले हैं उनको तो पता ही होता है बट नॉर्मली अगर आप देखें यूएस वगैरह में तो सभी लोगों को इकोनॉमिक से थोड़ा फाइनेंस में पढ़ाया जाता है चलो तो देखते हैं कि ये जो रेशो की बात कर रहे हैं अब अडानी की रेशो क्या है जैसे कह रहे हैं ना कि वन हो तो वन से वन वन दो ही तो फिर तो ऑब्वियसली कोई फायदा ही नहीं है ना प्रॉफिट ना लॉस right. तो मतलब दैट इज यूजलेस मेरे हिसाब से तो गलत ही होगा बिजनेस जो है उसका तो लॉस ही है तो देखते हैं अभी आगे बताएंगे तो अभी शेयर करना अपने थॉट्स अभी तक जो वीडियो देखी है जल्दी से दूसरा पार्ट देखते हैं इंटरेस्टिंग है इनका भी कह रहे टेक तो ये अपना बताएंगे नहीं तो फिर जो समझ में आएगा उसके हिसाब से बिल्कुल टेक देखेंगे हर एक चीज में कब इम्प्रूवमेंट्स की हमेशा गुंजाइश होती है तो इम्प्रूव करिए और जबरदस्त मतलब आप कंपनी बनाइए मैं तो यही कहना है तो चलो फ्रेंड्स चलते हैं मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बहुत ही जल्द टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय तो अगर आप मेरे इस चैनल पे नए हो तो जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब के बटन को हिट करो और बेल आइकन को क्लिक करो ताकि आपको मेरा जब नया वीडियो में लगाऊं आपको उसके बारे में जल्दी से पता चल जाए